One of the most frustrating parts of Stalker 2 when you play is not being able to reach the main city Pripyat until you're nearly 80% done with the main story. But there are a few different locations where you could jump over the train blocking your way and reach Pripyat early as soon as you are able to leave the lesser zone. This opens up the area that has the best weapons and armors and I'll show you a couple of good things that you can collect while we're here. First, as soon as you're able to enter into garbage a few hours after you start the game and make a save in the next camp which is the slag heap, you can travel to Pripyat. I personally would wait until you have unlocked fast travel before doing this but it is not required. Next you need to run, and it's a long way, all the way to Yanov Station, right at the top of the map. From Yanov Station we can reach Pripyat early from a couple of locations. The first one is here and you can simply jump over the train. You need to be careful in this location though as the radiation can kill you pretty quick. Then as soon as you are over the path is right next to you and you can run up here towards the entrance of Pripyat which I will show you in a second. The second location is a bit further along the train here, you can jump onto the side of the train and reach the wheel of the other train to get to the roof. It's a little trickier to do this one but you'll get the hang of it. Now the area here is very deadly and will kill you as soon as you drop down, but if you walk along to this location here along the carriages you can actually run across without dying and you can take some vodka or whatever just in case, but you should make it with no problems. Again, now you can run to Pripyat. You need to go a certain way to enter right at the top here. Don't try to go anywhere else as you'll probably die. So I'm going to show you me running from here to the Palace of Culture, the main base in the region. Alright, now we are in Pripyat, you can fast travel here now wherever you want to. The vendor here is great, he sells pretty much all the guns, ammo and attachments. He's the best one in the game by far, and the mechanic in this area as well also can alter any gear as he's the highest level. Okay, let's get a couple of the best pieces of gear, stuff you usually wouldn't get until you're at least 80% of the way through the main campaign. The diamond exoskeleton, the strongest possible armour, is located in the kindergarten in the city. And be careful though, there's loads of monolith soldiers here. But the armor is super easy to get and it's just on the upper floor of the building.
The Gauss Rifle can be found in the Prometheus movie theatre. Buy a grenade from the vendor, you can quickly glitch the door open, and that will give you the game's strongest weapon early. A final... A final gun to pick up while you're here is Texan, a shotgun, which I personally love to use. In fact, I did the entire ending of the game using only this gun, and some people prefer the Saiga D12 because of the quicker reloading, but I enjoy using this one a lot better. It's more accurate, and you end up using a lot less ammo. It's also super strong against the toughest enemies. Bloodsuckers, for example, only take a few bullets to kill. If you're looking for other good stuff, check out my other videos. I have every weapon and armor in the game already covered and attachments and upgrades for the weapons. So now you're done exploring, how do you leave Pripyat? Well, you can fast travel if you have it unlocked. Otherwise, you must head all the way back down here to where you entered using the first method, run along to Yanov Station, and you can jump back over the trains. Guys, hopefully you found this video helpful for getting all of the best armor and weapons early. Like and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Here's a riddle for you. There's a dead stalker in Prefiat.